As part of the Local Data Exchange, or LDX, process, there are several tools local jurisdictions can use to provide input on nearly 30 regional data sets to SCAG. A login is required to access the LDX tools. If you do not have a login, you can request an account on the LDX page of the regional hub. Once you have an account, launch the LDX website to access the LDX tools. The primary LDX tool is LDX Editor. LDX Editor allows local jurisdictions to directly edit many datasets for their jurisdiction or provide map-based feedback for any dataset. Within the application, the first step is to select your jurisdiction, which must be the same as the jurisdiction you are registered for. You will not be able to edit data for other jurisdictions. Once a jurisdiction is selected, next, select the data layer that you want to provide input on. Some layers are not editable. These are denoted with an asterisk. Data that is updated through LDX will be carefully curated by SCAG and, where possible, used to update several value-added tools like Helper and Parcel Locator and shared through the Regional Hub Content Library. For layers that support editing, once selected, use the Edit tab to get started with making your edits. If you have not edited before, you will be able to create a new edit job. If you are returning to the application, you can see any open edit sessions from previous use. These open edit sessions reflect edits that have not yet been submitted to SCAG and are specific to each user, jurisdiction, and data layer. Once editing, select the feature on the map that you want to edit. You can update the attributes of a selected feature for any layer and for some layers, like regional bikeways, can even add new features. For the growth forecast data layers, including both employment and household growth, there are additional capabilities within LDX Editor. When one of these layers is selected, you will see a growth information panel appear that includes both the growth forecast for all years and the growth deltas for all time periods. For growth layers, you can also choose to change the variable that is being visualized on the map and for all layers can add additional contextual reference overlay to help inform edits. When editing a growth layer, as you make edits, you will see your edits summarized for your jurisdiction in the Growth Information panel. This panel includes SCAG's original preliminary growth forecast, your edits, which are any additions or subtractions you've made across all TAZs for your jurisdiction, and the new growth total for each year based on your edits. This panel also includes the growth deltas for all time periods, in addition to editing data on the map, you can also make edits in the table view for any layer that supports editing. For all data layers in LDX Editor, you can also provide map-based feedback. Select the data layer of interest, draw the feedback area on the map using one of the drawing tools, and add your comment. If at any time in the application you encounter an issue or need additional support, Click the Request for Technical Assistance button. Submitting a request for technical assistance will engage the SCAG Local Information Services team to provide more support. The application also provides other helpful tools, like the ability to print or take a screen capture of the current map and a legend and base map control. There are other ways you can provide input to SCAG. If your jurisdiction already maintains an up-to-date representation of one of the LDX data layers, use the Upload a GIS Data File form to upload a zipped file containing either a shapefile or file geodatabase for the selected data layer. Or if you use ArcGIS Urban, share your publicly accessible urban plan. Regardless of how input was provided, either in LDX Editor or by using one of the survey forms, all contributions follow a standard process. Once input is provided, the local reviewer for your jurisdiction will receive an email notification. They can also check to see if there is any pending input for their jurisdiction by clicking 
Review Data Contributions on the main LDX web page. This will open the LDX Workflow Manager pane, where a queue of any pending data contributions is available for review and action. Click on a job, which is essentially just one data contribution, to see its information, like who submitted the job and the data layer. All jobs require review. To complete the required review action, simply click the Play button. For edits that were made within LDX Editor, this will open a review application where you can see which features were edited. Once the review is complete, select Finish. You will then be prompted to either approve or deny the edits. If approved, SCAG will be notified and take further action to incorporate the edits into the regional database. If denied, the edits will be deleted. For all other input types, feedback, file upload, or an adopted plan, the only review step is to approve or deny the input. Use the details pane to get the information needed to make that decision. If there are further questions from SCAG on input that has been received, the local reviewer will receive another automated email notification if there is any additional action required. Additionally, if at any time you have questions or need support, please submit a request for technical assistance and the LIST team will reach out to provide further support.